Hey, what's up guys, Sandeep here and in this video I'm going to share interview questions for the company Global Logic and they were hiring for ReactJS developer profile for 3 plus years of experience and one of my friend recently interviewed for Global Logic and I got the list of questions from him. So basically there were two rounds, first one is the technical round which was of one hour and the second one was the managerial round or the manager round which was again one hour and the last one is the HR round you can say it's like five to ten minutes is for just salary discussions and negotiations yep so in the first round these were the list of questions that was asked again this was not my interview experience it was just the list of, of questions that I got from my friend and I thought it would be really helpful for others if I share these questions so here it goes the first round the first question was what do you mean by web accessibility uh, mention some HTML5 tags and their properties a uh, difference be between async and differ on loading of scripts. What is the difference between flex and grid and CSS? What are rem and em properties on CSS? What are the different ways you can make a web page responsive? Uh, media queries is the basic one. Uh, when a response is sent from a server to a browser, what gets loaded first? The HTML content, the JavaScript, or the CSS? Uh, so yeah so html gets passed first and after that you will get the js and the css parallelly downloaded uh the eighth one is like uh maybe give a css task to make a responsive layout and the code i will share uh share in the description box if you're looking so you'll get this uh like responsive layout code within the description box so the ninth question what are the uses of mexins uh what are the different css libraries you have used what is immediately invoke function expression and maybe what are its uses uh, why are functions called the first class citizens in javascript uh, what is cohesion in javascript what is hoisting in javascript very common what is passed by value and passed by reference in javascript okay what is the difference between await and yield keyword uh, yeah await is used on a sync await and yield is used on generator functions. So what is the use of currying function in JS? What is the basic uses? I mean, yeah, you need to explain of a, like maybe a scenario where it is very suitable to use a currying function. Uh, what is the benefit of using arrow functions? Again, the scope of the this you have to talk on. Difference between event bubbling and event capturing. So you have to mention the whole event stage, what happens from capturing towards the bubbling phase. So the 19 questions, what are the drawbacks of using React.js? Uh, difference between a class component and a functional component. Uh, what do you mean by functional set state? Uh, when do you decide uh, when to use pure component? Yeah, so here you can say basically, uh, as you know, that PO components does a shallow comparison between the state, either on the state or the props. Uh, so if, if, if it does a shallow comparison, and again, you have an object, nested object, deep nested object. So it's not recommended to use pure component because it does a shallow comparison. If you have a deep nested object, it's useless because it won't be able to compare. So at that time, you can skip using pure components. Yeah. What is code splitting? Uh, how do you perform like code splitting in React.js? So you can do React Lazy and React Suspense. I have a video on React optimization techniques. There you can see this code splitting and uh, I have like shown a little bit of a demo there. Uh, what, what happens if you call set state in render method? So it will call multiple times and throw an error. Uh, what is context API and it uses what are error boundaries in react so yeah these were the questions that maybe were asked according to my friend so these are the list I got from him I hope uh, if not this question will be some kind of useful you may practice or you may if you don't know any one of them you can revise on them for your next interview and I hope it will surely help you in upcoming interviews thanks for watching guys stay tuned I'll be bringing more videos and shots on YouTube. Till then, goodbye.